Access cavity preparation is one of the most important step in doing root canal treatment. It provides access for the instrumentation and obturation of the root canal system. Even though the root canal treatment may be a successful one, after certain years, the tooth may undergo development of cracks and fractures. More often, the reason for this type of failure is attributed to the excessively large access cavity preparation. Is there some way that we could prevent this type of fractures and cracks developing and loosening of the tooth. There comes the role of truss access cavity preparation. In a traditional access cavity preparation, there is an excessive removal of the sound tooth structure which leaves the walls of the tooth preparation weaker. Once the tooth is functional in the oral cavity for a longer time period, one of the walls or more of the walls may fracture compromising the success of the tooth in the oral cavity. In order to avoid that, many other conservative access cavity preparation procedures have been suggested. One such concept which has revolutionized the dentistry is the preparation of modern molar access which stresses upon preparing a very conservative access cavity preparation thus strengthening the remaining tooth structure. A much more conservative access cavity preparation technique has been suggested that is called a truss access cavity preparation. A truss means the two parts of a object are joined together with the help of a beam in between. In the tooth, the different walls of the tooth are joined by a sound tooth structure in between which is called as a truss access cavity preparation. In the picture, you could see compared to the conventional access access cavity preparation, the truss access cavity preparation, there leaves a tooth structure in between the walls. So this will reinforce the tooth and prevent it from getting fractured. In case of a maxillary premolar, we could prepare the buccal and the palatal canal separately by preparing two openings corresponding to the buccal and the palatal canal, leaving the in-between tooth structure intact, thus strengthening the tooth. In case of a maxillary molar, the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal canal could be prepared as a single preparation and the palatal canal could be prepared as a separate one. In case of a mandibular molar, the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual canal could be prepared with a single preparation and the distal canal could be prepared as a single preparation. So thus leaving an intact tooth structure in between. So this intact tooth structure will reinforce the walls from getting fractured in the future. Although this technique seems to be very promising and reliable, there are certain problems which are existing. One and foremost it was suggested that it could result in an insufficient cleaning and shaping but the recent literature suggests that it could provide a equivalent cleaning and shaping to the conventional access cavity preparations. There are chances for more instrument breakage is there and it may be more time consuming as the access cavity is very conservative. The chances for errors are more compared to the traditional access cavity because the dentist is forced to work with a very limited access but the benefits of truss access cavity preparation overcomes its drawbacks a stronger tooth structure will lead to a longer tooth survival in the oral cavity that is the ultimate aim of dentistry the chances for the crown could be reduced and maybe in the future you and me will be preparing only truss access cavities subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you for watching